So, hola, Andrea. Mi nombre es Diane y soy de las Filipinas. Oh, great. Mucho gusto. <laughs> well, first of all, congratulations. I watched, um, I did the pre-pageant uh, show and the post. And, um, well, I just wanted to ask you, first of all, how did it feel when it was just down to you and, uh, and Brazil? And then, you know, Mario said, Viva Mexico. I mean, what, what was it like um, up there? So we were at, at the top two. Uh, I think I had a mix of emotions. I don't really remember like exactly what, what I was feeling. I was just super excited. And the crowd was crazy. I could hear all the Mexican people in the audience screaming, waving the Mexican flag. And that, that was so motivating for me. And when Mario screamed, Viva Mexico, I, I always tell everyone this because it was funny that I thought it came from the crowd. Because no. I was like, Mexico, or even my name, I was not expecting this, like, Viva Mexico. So I thought for a second, like, is this a scene? Oh, okay. Because <laughs> actually, you, you didn't really react right away. I sort of, like, saw, like, a pause, right? Yeah, it was like a pause, and then... Then I started screaming. I couldn't stop screaming and laughing. I was laughing so much. And I couldn't believe it. I, I knew that my life had changed at that moment. What do you think really made you win? That, I, that I was always myself, 24-7. I have never tried to pretend to be someone else. And that's something that I told to myself before arriving to the competition. Um, I want to enjoy this moment. I want to enjoy every single part of the competition and be myself and let them see who I really am. Because maybe yes. because I was trying to be perfect or I was trying to fit in this mold, I was not being myself. Therefore, I was not enjoying the moment. Give us just a little bit of insight about how it was during the competition with the other girls. Like, what, you know, did you feel, because I know you know, the, I mean, the other Miss Mexicos for sure have been telling you about how it was, but how, how did you experience it for yourself? Was it competitive? Was it friendly? Was it tough? Was it stressful? Or how was it? It was super friendly. Uh, I love that everyone seemed so mature, that everyone really wanted to be there. And I think that's a very important thing. Um, because everyone was so focused, but at the same time, super friendly. And we were helping each one if you needed something like, okay, I can, I can lend you my, I don't know, my makeup or my dress. One of the girls lost her luggage. Luggage, yeah. Traveling to the competition and like everyone was offering, like, if you need a dress, like you can wear it. There's no problem. I, I have a great friendship with my roommate. We had this connection since the very first moment and we were always helping each other. And I think that's a beautiful thing because now I have friends for life all around the world. Yeah, who was your roommate, sorry? Helen from Aruba. Oh, from Aruba, Miss Aruba. Okay, so I'm sure you guys are all gonna stay in touch. Can you tell us, um, uh, I know you met Miss Philippines, Rabia Mateo. What can you tell us about her? And did you get a chance to chat with her, or have any interaction? She's a gorgeous lady. Uh, she was always on point. Like she was always like perfect hair, perfect outfit. And I, I think she was a great representative of your country. So earlier you said you were confident, you knew you were gonna get to the top five. Were you confident you were gonna win? I arrived to the competition believing that I was the winner because if I don't believe it, like no one else is going to believe me. And yeah. um, I know the power of our thoughts. And that's why I always, I always saw myself as the winner. But I knew that if something else happened was because the universe and the destiny had something else for me.